here at an institution in San Bernardino known as Rosa Maria's. Rosa Maria's. So I'm here with Nikki. Nikki, tell me a little bit about how long has this place been here? Our restaurant has been here since January 16th, 1975. They uh, opened this place because mom and pop made burritos. Mom uh, made burritos for her husband who worked, worked in the orange groves and ended up making them for his co-workers. Decided to make it a dynasty of uh, a food for San Bernardino. And that's how we started. So almost, getting close to 40 years here. Yeah. And um, uh, when it comes to making burritos, is it always, <laughs> things are gonna be moving and going on right around us yeah. as we do this, because we're doing this right at lunchtime. Yes, we are. <laughs> Okay. Um, when they started making burritos, has it always been out of this place? No. Okay. Mom used to make them out of the home. She used to make them out of her home for her husband. At one point in time, we actually made a lot of our product out of a makeshift kitchen in their home. Just recently, we uh, did get a uh, main kitchen warehouse where some of our product comes from, but most of our product is made on site every day, all day long. On site every day. And we're basically, we're on a foot, Sierra Way, and what's the cross street? This is 42nd Street. 42nd Street. So, and it's funny because I mentioned to several people that we're going to be going to Rosemary's, and everyone I said it to was like, oh, oh, yeah. In fact, our fans were the ones that told us about this place before I even knew about it. I had to get a job here to support my habit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been working here? I have been working here for 15 years. Okay. So I'm treated like family, you know, I'm, I've been here a long time. Most people that start working here, don't leave. Don't leave, huh? Don't leave. The family's very good. It's a good business to work for. Um, the customers are wonderful, very loyal. Yeah. Very loyal customers in this uh, business. It's awesome. Now, how many different locations do you currently have? We currently have four locations. San Bernardino, Fontana, Redlands, and Highland. Okay. So obviously we're in the original, or the this is the original one, yes. huh? Yes, this is the original. What qualifies as authentic Mexican food? Well, for example, our homemade rianos are step by step from beating the eggs to hand dipping them, wrapping the chilies. Oh. It's nothing that's microwaved. It's nothing that does not take a huge process to make. Okay. Like I said, the tortillas are made from the dough. I can actually hear the dough machine going right now. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah, you can hear the dough machine. <laughs> The girls back there tossing the tortillas, everything is fresh and homemade. Okay. It makes a big difference. This is the dough being prepared for our tortillas. This has to mix for quite some time and then it has to be broken up. I'm going to see over here. Okay. What yeah. he's doing is he's, he's separating all the dough balls and rounding them out with a little bit of uh, nice, wonderful lard on them to make them as tasty as they are. <laughs> right, so, how many of these do you figure you make in a day? Hundreds at least. Are you just, I mean, are you open just for lunch or is it lunch and dinner, breakfast, lunch and dinner? Monday through Friday, 10.30 to 7 at this location. Saturday, Sunday, 10.30 to 6, seven okay. days a week. They have six t tortillas on the grill at any time, moving them. And it, it is, I have tried it and I'm just, whew, I'm terrible at it. I can say <laughs> I'm terrible at it. I burn my fingers, but these girls, they, they're just the experts. They move them around without a second thought. This is an extra large burrito. I was say, that's a big, big tortilla yeah. right there. That's an extra large tortilla. That's one burrito. That is one burrito. Oh my goodness. And cheese. She's oh, putting the oh cheese on goodness. it. There are going to be people at home that want to know what is the magic in the recipes. Tell us. Tell you no, 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 no. You're not supposed to say that. I have worked here 15 years and they still won't tell me the recipes. What is the number one thing that moves out of here? The burrito that we were first known for was the garbage burrito, which consists of meat, beans, rice, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and onion. You kind of get more bang for your buck yeah. type thing. Um, our chili rellenos are just to die for, though. A lot of people come for the rellenos. How did they get the name garbage burrito? Because it has a little bit of everything. They say a little bit of everything, you know, just gets thrown in. So um, people, it's a crowd favorite. I'm not kidding. When we left the location we were at earlier, we said where we were going, and they go, oh, garbage burrito. Now, I didn't know what he was talking about, honestly, because I haven't had the garbage burrito. All right, so let's talk about some of your regulars. What is the furthest distance that you're aware of that your regulars come to visit you? On a daily basis? Or daily. Just... Let's do a daily first. Daily, probably Riverside, Ontario, possibly. On a daily basis? At least three to four times a week, probably. Now, what about people who just Oh, I drove all the way here from to have San them. Diego, Arizona. People, when they come into town for any reason, have to make the Rosa Maria's the trip. <laughs> we also ship burritos across country. No way. Yes, we do. We Are you serious? Yes. We overnight our burritos across country. 
How do you overnight a burrito? UPS overnight, first thing delivery. We make them, deep freeze them, and then ship them overnight. So you de obviously make them and then stick them in a freezer. Yes. What's the furthest that you're aware that you shipped a burrito? All the way across country, Maine, Washington, Jersey, New York. All right, so we're gonna go and put together the garbage burrito. I'm gonna try it for the first time. Okay. We have pork or chicken for the meat, oh. and we have the mild or the hotter spicy sauce. Okay. Which would you like? I'm a wimp, so no spicy sauce, but I'll take your recommendation on the side of meat. Okay, pork. Okay. That'll be the milder of the, our meats. Okay. So that's what she's making here for you. The beans get spread on first, then you got your meat. <laughs> Can we get some rice right Can there? get some rice. Right. She'll go over and she'll add your lettuce, tomato, onion. We can specialize your burrito any way you'd like it. Now, if you look at that burrito, you think there's absolutely no way that she's going to be able to roll there's this. There's no way. Oh, she does, though. <laughs> and, and just no, so easily. <laughs> when we were talking about working on this season of Inland Empire Explorer, we put all some of our favorite places in the hat of where we want to go, and Adam behind the camera, first place, Rosemary. Good job, Adam, we like you. <laughs> 30 years Adam's been coming to this place. This is a first for me. Um, wow, what are we doing? It's a shot of our hot sauce. You gotta be kidding me, like a hot sauce shot. We have, look at everybody's watching us, what? Wait, have you guys done this before? Oh yes. I, I already told you I'm a wimp. Ready? You're down? Down it. All right, Here's... all right, here we go. It's a little hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hot. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you. Thanks for coming, guys. Hey, thank you again. The institution here in San Bernardino, Rosa Maria's. All right, I'm just, I just dig in, right?